I know a lot of people are curious as to what happens inside a mosque and maybe you know you're too shy to walk in and just look so today I'll take you inside and I'll show you exactly what happens and it doesn't matter if you're at the largest mosque here in India at Jama Masjid or you're at a small mosque in New Zealand it's all the same okay so before you enter the mosque you always have to take off your shoes so we're here in Delhi so we'll go and give our shoes to this guy and he'll look after them all right we're inside the mosque now and I don't have a religion I'm not a Muslim but I've been to a mosque enough times with my Muslim friends to you know and prayed with them and I know enough to know what happens here and I was so shocked by the Christchurch terrorist attacks that I wanted to make something to help people better understand what is happening at mosques in their community the Prophet said that cleanliness is half of faith so when you come here to the mosque before you enter the mosque before you pray you have to wash your body you have to come clean so you come here to the pool there will always be somewhere to wash at a mosque and wash your feet wash your hands wash your face your hair your ears everything make sure you're nice and clean before you go into the mosque so now they're all clean we can present ourselves in front of god and if you're going to visit a mosque make sure you're wearing you're like fully covered like this now and there are separate places for male and females to pray so make sure you go to the right section of the mosque what's going to happen next is the call to prayer and this call to prayer is going to be blasted out across the neighborhood from big speakers and this just lets people in the vicinity know it's time to come for namaz it's time to come and pray <laughs> taken our seats now we're ready for namaz and what's going to happen is there's going to be a number of postures that we'll take while praying and while the imam while the priest is praying and then at the end of the prayers the best part is when you turn to your left and you turn to your right you turn to the guys next to you and you greet them with assalamu alaikum
the main prayer ceremony is over now, but people are just hanging around and just doing some more prayers as well. Usually you just go through the prayers twice and then everybody leaves, but a lot of people will stay behind and go through the prayer routine a few more times. So that's it, a mosque is simply just a place where people come and pray and anybody from any religion can come to a mosque and find a quiet place and pray to their God. It doesn't matter, they're really inclusive here and they'll treat you like a brother or a sister when you get here. And if you come during Ramadan, when they break their fast at night, you'll be treated to like, like a like chicken biryani and all. It's really quite an experience to sit around after prayers and eat with your friends out of this one one big bowl, you all share the food. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. I really enjoy coming to the mosques. Assalamu alaikum or Jehind. Back outside the mosque now and you realize the peacefulness in the mosque when you get back on these Indian streets. It's just crazy here in Old Delhi. And if you want to see me going around Old Delhi and meeting some wrestlers here who absolutely beat the hell out of me, check out my wrestling in Old Delhi video. It's hilarious.